<laughs> yeah! Hi! Hello, How are you? Mr. Sir, President. Nice to see you. Very nice to meet you. How have you been? Yup, that's exactly who you think it is. It's so nice to meet you. Very nice I to hear meet you're you just too. doing great. You are. I heard you're doing pretty well yourself. I'm doing okay. Congratulations well. on all the wonderful work you're doing on YouTube. Wait, are you subscribed? Thank you so much. Congratulations on the work you're doing for the country. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here to talk about how we can get young people more involved. Thank you for sitting down with me and taking the time to spread the word all over the internet. Well, because, you know, young people are going to be the people who make the biggest impact in this country, and this is the way to reach them. That's so, right. and, and you're doing a great job talking to them about some of the things you guys care about. I'm doing a great job talking about things that some of us care about. <laughs> Unfortunately, I heard that you're going to be out of a job soon. I am. So if you have any suggestions, yeah. you know, maybe I'll start a YouTube show. That's or something what I'm like thinking. That. I was you, thinking a yeah. YouTube. You think I got I got promise? I might have to try to hit a different demographic though. Different demographic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're right. Millennials are the entire demographic of this election. Exactly. Right? Um, a third of millennials in 2012 voted in the election. Only a third, and Only that third. means two thirds didn't. Math. Obama. Whatever you care about, if you care about you know, making sure that you got enough money to go to college, if you care about climate change and the environment, if you care about making sure that women have the same rights and opportunities as men, whatever those issues are, they're decided by people in government. I could not have been president if it weren't for the support of 18 to 25, 35 year olds. If you've never voted, if you need information on how to vote, you can go to IWillVote.com, IWillVote.com. It'll show you how easy it is. It's my first time voting too. Just reminds people that this is not a hard thing to do and this is your voice this is you showing the country that you have a stake in it and that you know you have an opinion about where you want to take it exactly and I think that's something specific about a lot of Millennials now including myself that we all express our opinions online whether that be through 140 characters on Twitter through a YouTube video through anything online but we're not taking the time to express that opinion through a check mark on about <laughs> The fact of the matter is is that if all you're doing is just talking to each other, but you're never really having an impact on the people who are going to be making decisions about the things that you care about, then it's not, in the end, going to make that much difference. Exactly. And it's going to be forgotten and erased. Lost in the Lost internet, in. turned into memes. You don't have any right to complain about stuff if you didn't try to make an effort to move it in a better direction. <laughs> Sometimes when people just see something on YouTube or a meme, they automatically assume it's true. Everything on the internet isn't true? It isn't, it turns <gasps> out. And so part of what I think has made this election interesting is we're still kind of sorting out how do you tell what's true from what isn't true. And yeah. I think that you know people like you who are thoughtful and thoughtful. informed and informed and have a, a good audience. Has a good audience. And who are credible because you're speaking to people your age. Credible because I'm speaking to people my age. The president is somebody who's done their homework, somebody who knows what they're talking about. That requires somebody who is serious. It sounds like a very important job that's at stake here. It is. It's a serious job. You know, when I started, I had no gray hair. <laughs> Do you ever wonder I, what you would have looked like had you not taken off this? You know, I think I would have turned a little gray anyway. <laughs> I think it looks great. Well, I love thank it. You. And I love you. I thought you were a really cool president, I and now it's it. just you're the coolest person in I've the world. Because I've been on your show. Exactly. <laughs> you. Look at my shoes. I have to tell I you. I like that. You like that? I'll you like that? You like that? I'll because I love you. like a little boy right now but it's cool because I'm an all-American man and the reason why I look like a bald eagle right now is because I just got my ballot in the mail to vote for the president of the United States and I'm so ready American hat American scarf American boxes I'm feeling free and I got my TiVo shoes when Obama personally tells you to personally vote personally you do it just for you Barry only problem is I don't see Barack on the ballot all right here we go first time voting Woo. I'm sweating because I'm exercising the right to vote I just voted <laughs> I don't see a difference. It's a lot easier than I thought. Legit took me like two seconds to put an X in a box. So easy a five-year-old could do it. But not legally, but you know. I'm talking to my 18-year-olds out there, all right? Get legal with it. So get out there and go vote November 8th, okay? Barack wasn't only talking to me. He was talking to you too, Sarah, Jimmy, Carl and a bunch of other people with basic names. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to educate yourself about voting, there's more description in the description. All right, see you later, America. Bye. Dude, I'm about to vote for the president right now.
Thank you. <laughs> Talking about making sure that we go out there and vote. Go vote. I will vote that <laughs>